Brooklyn Independent Television. In our final story, Sector B's Fred Brown wants to introduce you to two young entrepreneurs whose customers are practically panting for their services, and they never feel like they're barking up the wrong tree. On the other hand, these same customers are always giving these women a run for their money. Dog is man's best friend, right? But what kind of best friend demands so much of your time and attention? All those daily chores, feeding it, training it, brushing it, and of course, walking it and giving it regular exercise. For entrepreneurs Mandy McGowan and Julie Tatoni, a dog's need to run has turned into their best friend. After repeatedly applying for full-time jobs and not landing anything, they decided to open a business together in Williamsburg called Brooklyn Dog Runners. Six months into their new venture, the list of clients keeps growing, and Mandy and Julie are taking it to the bank one dog at a time. It's been good. I mean, it's been really good. I think that people are excited and mostly just um, like, oh, I've never heard of this running your dogs before. And people are like, this is great because, you know, I'm gone all day and I, I love to know that my dog's running and not just walking. Um, really, I think that as far as like dog walking versus dog running goes, with dog walking, I mean, obviously you're walking, but I think dog walkers usually take on a lot more dogs at once. Um, you'll see them with like packs of dogs, whereas our policy is the most dogs you can take out at once is two dogs and generally it's just one dog, so it's a lot more of a personal experience for the dog. That's one of the reasons why I'm so happy that we decided to partner up and do this together, is we have each other's back, and like, you know, there's always, you know, it's not like Julie is my boss, we're definitely in this as a partnership, mm -hmm. but it's nice to know you have that safety net of someone else, you know, making sure things get done properly, and like, if I can't make an appointment, Julie will be there, and vice versa, so. It's definitely great to have two of us. Hey, how's it going? Bye. Oh my gosh, it went so well. He was so just. <laughs> after I fed him a few days, he was like my best friend, and he let me go anywhere. He never got angry. Like he was great. Oh, I know. You're so ready to go. <laughs> Calm down. I know. I know. All of our clients love their dogs so immensely and it's just about they know it's really good for their dog. They know we care about their dog. They know it's healthy for their dog. They know that their dog is getting out not just for like a, you know, a slow walk around the block but an actual like exercise experience. What do you think about the whole idea of a business in which these women take out the dog to run uh, at some point during the day. Is that good or not? Or It's good, uh, both for the runner and the dog, you know, because it uh, gives you exercise, especially if you do it in a open air like this, in the park. It's very healthy. As a business, there seems to be a demand in Brooklyn, mostly from folks who work long hours with little time left to exercise their dogs. But are these people really willing to pay someone else $30 for 30 minutes? So many of us out here have jobs where we can't really go running with our dogs or anything like that. Like, I work in a bar, I get home at 3 in the morning, like, if I take them up here, it's maybe for 15 minutes at the end of the day and maybe in the morning. So, yeah, it's a great idea. So you'd pay for it? Yeah, without a doubt. Well, I guess it makes sense if you work 40 hours a week and you can't be home to take care of your own dog and you can afford to pay someone else to do it, just like people can afford to pay other people to babysits and it makes a big difference whenever we have her out running for a while she comes home and sleeps she's a lot less inclined to chew the walls and things like that so I definitely think it's a good idea uh, some of the bigger breeds like labs like my dog for instance need good exercise and just you know a 15 minute walk around the block isn't gonna cut it he's gonna get back in the house still be rambunctious still high energy so uh, running definitely um, you know, is a great service uh, as long as the people are doing it. You know. In a recession, can people pay for this thing? You know, people's dogs, uh, their family members, and you'd think, you know, they might cut back some places, toys, things like that, but, you know, when your dog needs to go to the bathroom and needs to exercise, 
uh, you can't really you, you can't really cut back on that. Thinking creatively is paying off for Julie and Mandy. As for our four-legged friends, we can't really tell what they think, but Conrad sure looks like a happy customer. Don't want to keep you from <laughs> up and running. So, bye. Bye. Okay, come on. Oh, yay. Reporting for Sector B, I'm Fred Brown. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.